Yo guys, welcome back to Bandit PC Joe Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're going into Expanded to play another Cast Form deck. But Cast Form and Expanded, I actually think, has a lot of potential as a fun little deck. Thanks to Battle Compressor, allowing you to discard three cards from your deck. Allowing you to just play Compressor, get rid of three stadiums to fuel Cast Form's ability. That is the whole idea of playing Cast Form and Expanded. There are some issues, however, is that Cast Form can't play Mars Shadow or Mew, so your type coverage is limited. Plus, you don't really have that many good cast forms. Really, I think the only two good cast forms is really just Snowy Cast Form and Sunny Cast Form because they do damage. And that's pretty much the sad reality of the cast form deck. However, Fire and Water are not bad types. You know, Grass is still decent in Expanded. Metal is still good. ADP is a, still a good Expanded deck. So you still hit some pretty good matchups where High Pressure Blast will actually take one shots on those Pokemon weak to fire. And Snowy Cast Form is good too because there are still people playing Welder decks. I still run into Rechizard and stuff like that quite a bit in Expanded. So the type coverage is still good. People still like their Fire and Metal decks in Expanded. So before we end the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCGL pack outs, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are going to pick up any set codes still like Chilling Rain or Battle Style, Shining Fates or Sword and Shield Base Set or Rebel Clash or any other older set, or you're looking for any promo GX or V codes, or maybe you're looking for any of the pre-release kit codes or battle arena codes, whatever codes you're looking for, get them all over at Car Cabin. Beginning any codes over at Car Cabin. Of course, guys, at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help channel, help yourself out, and up our Car Cabin. So share to Car Cabin, check them out, use code LDF if you get any codes at Car Cabin. So let's take a look at the list here. So this is my cast form list that I'm playing in Expanded. Now, I did try out a few different versions of the deck. The main one was going to be with the Barbarical. I'll show you guys what this does. So, I thought this was a cool idea because hand block, if you have any stadium in play, your opponent cannot attach special energy from his hand. And that means DC, Twin, Double Dragon, Counter Energy, Prism, some Rainbow, Aurora, so many energy. The problem with this was actually is that, well, it doesn't work with Sunny Day cast form because if you play hand block, you just discard your own stadium. So, it was actually useless. If you want to play it with just this cast form, it would actually be decent, but... The high pressure blast cast form is better because it does more damage so this was out of the picture so we just kept the bare bones and to the minimum thankfully there are stadiums that do let us do a little bit more damage trying to punch me comes to mind unfortunately shine is not as good anymore because v's exist now allowing you to put one damage counter on gx and the x's are still good there's still a lot of people who do play gx and the x deck so you still get some value out of shrine of punishments in general um you know, Poke Town can be good too against VMAX decks. If they do evolve into the VMAX, they will take three damage. And that can put them into a, a two shot of high pressure blast because that can put them below 300 HP, which is pretty good. Um, and then, of course, we even have Frozen City whenever a player attaches. This deck plays zero energy. So if a player attaches energy, you know, they'll take 20 damage. Just another way to do more damage. That is why we got them. Parallel City is kind of cool too. It makes them do less damage. But you can use Parallel City to actually discard like Dedenne and Lele and stuff to like make boss lefts viable. So that's why I'm playing the Parallel. Plus Parallel City versus the opponent can be very annoying. Especially against those Skyfield heavy decks. So those were the best stadiums I think to play. Um, yeah, those are best stadiums to play. This deck can also fall to like a Lolan Muck and Garboder. I do play Faba alongside field blower there's a really cool supporter we can play it's also lucamine allowing you to get a stadium back in your hand of course this can get you a free stadium back if you have nine in the discard you can get a free stadium with lucamine and still attack we can use lucamine with high pressure blast also to keep the stadium discards going um so lucamine is really cool in here too i am playing one ranger just gonna get this out of the way you need ranger because how else are you gonna beat adp you play ranger ultra creation is no longer in effect guys if you're playing an expanded just put ranger in all your decks because it beats adp uh, they got teammates. Pretty cool. Fab is in the deck, too. Uh, mainly to get rid of stuff like Cody Melergy and also gets rid of a float zone on the Garboder. So we're going to play the Fab because it's like a way to get rid of the uh, Garboder's ability. Three Junipers, one end. Not playing Colrus or Cynthia or anything. I don't think you need it. Got two Choice Bands, two Float Stones, and one Muscle Band for the damage output. I can honestly even see a Leon going in here if you really wanted to. You can even play ADP yourself. Honestly, if you want to play ADP, just have that damage boost. Wouldn't be terrible either. I don't know. Probably not good, though. But anyways. So... Get some dubs with Cast Form, hopefully, and let's see how the deck plays in Expanded. Okay, into the first match. We do win the coin flip here. We're up against a Grass deck. Now, um, uh, we'll make them go first so we can go second. Maybe we can get a turn one Cast Form, but I'm also thinking that they could be playing Egg Row, so we probably don't want them to go first and go Super Growth turn one. We don't know what they're playing, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Um, okay, I don't know. But anyways, we should run them over with Cast Form here. Grass and Expanded gets run over pretty well at Cast Form. Now, we do have to see if we can actually find a Cast Form play. But we'll see how it goes. 
get the cast farm down. We're chilling. We just need to get we just need to get eight tool eight stadiums in the discard. And I guess if we use the fire cast farm, we need nine stadiums in total. So that is kind of an issue. We will nine. We might need nine stadiums, right? So we'll see how it goes. All right, what are we getting here? We get the rain cast form star. We do have a pretty good hand though. We got a lot of a lot of cards to play, which is good. We can Dedene. Battle compressor is amazing. Mail might find us another battle compressor or even Dowsy machine or something. Um, oh, they are playing the item lock. Yeah, they got the item locks. This is why I did, you know, say we want them to go first. Maybe we can just donk them if we get lucky. Or if they do go egg grab, we can try to attack it. The Oddish is definitely not ideal for us. It's definitely the Vile Plume is a problem. But once we get all the stadiums and discard pile, we should be okay. They could play the basic. Uh, they could play the Vile Plume that prevents it from medium from basics. I don't know. There's just there's not much uh, these fun these fun little expanded decks can really do against stuff like egg growl vile plume. You know, it's just not not an ideal. But it looks like we might donk them here. Okay, we just need to get eight stadiums in the discard pile. We're gonna compress her first. Uh Denae's in there, so we can go Parallel City's probably good. O Town and Shrine of Punishment. We'll quick ball or Dedene. Ultra Ball for the Guru. Just, we're going to try to maximize our draws this turn, guys. That's what the plan is. We're going to maximize our draws here. Um, Lodestone. That's good. There we go. It paid off. We have four in there. So we need to discard one more Stadium this turn. Or find another Compressor. So what I'm going to do... Is... I kind of want to dump a Juniper. We still have Tapu Lele, though, so it's fine. I was going to put a Juniper in the discard pile, so we get a Via Seeker off to Denny. We can play it, which, honestly, I, this might backfire. No, nah, we're good. We're good. We got the Stadiums. So we got there. They concede anyways. But, yeah, we got the Donk. As you can see, we did get all eight Stadiums in the discard. We had the Compressor, which would have won us the game. There we go. They didn't even get to use their main attacker. We just ran them over. Okay, here we go. We're up against a Metal deck, so Sunny Cast Form just have some pretty good situations where it's good right i mean grass and metal that's not bad at all all right there's a mulligan hope that my opponent doesn't realize i'm playing cast form off of this mulligan they probably do obviously cody metal energy doesn't exist but i you know i got the fab on the deck so it's not that bad all right we could play some enhanced hammers too maybe um ooh, we start with tapu lele which is not ideal however our hand is ideal because we will be able to get six stadiums in the discard pile here we just need to find floatstone at that point to move the lele all right, we'll see what they're playing here. It looks probably like it might be... It might be ADP. Yeah, there's Zacian. And it's weak to fire, so... Again, Sunny Cast Form will absolutely body it. There's a Capture... Oh, don't tell me it's Control. Okay, no. They're just getting Cobalion. Oh, okay. They're playing Turbo Zacian. Okay. This is fine. This should be fine. Um, I don't even know if they play Coding Metal. I mean, Fire and Expanded is not terrible, so there's a chip. Oh, nice. Well, they, they still, actually, they need another Metal Energy to attack, but that is kind of annoying. Gotta love, uh, gotta love how overpowered Intrepid Sword is. Um, I don't even know what I was gonna say. Yeah, most Asian decks don't even play, um, Cody Metal Energy. In Expanded, because it's not really needed. You know? So they might not even play it, which is good. We're just gonna get eight, or six stadiums in here. And then we can Quick Ball for the cast form. Seems good to me. Get rid of the useless stadiums like those. Seems good. We need to get two more in the discard, and we are vibing. Well, this could be risky to get him because he could just boss KO it. Let's try to get two cast forms in play because they have a fruit tree. There we go. We got a frozen city. Well, we do have the attack here. So if we find floatstone. Ooh. Let's do this. Grab the frozen city. Put in play. Dene. Let's see if we can find floatstone here. Nope. Rip. Fine, we'll just pass what we'll the guzma next turn we got close got the turn one attack which is good so that was nice but yeah we didn't find the float Ooh, but you know what i am gonna do i am gonna boss ko that lucario melmel tag team gx that seems really good to me um there is the knockout which is fine lele was a trooper yeah we're gonna we're gonna gust that luke metal for sure all right i'll span so what is via seeker for guzma Get that Luke Metal before it attacks me. Um, 
Seems good. Do this. And high pressure blast. And we'll save the hand, obviously, because we want to make sure it fills the cities here. And we knock him out, take our prizes. Another stadium's good for the cast form. Floatstone's decent. And treasure So we did prize a float. So yeah, I think it was still worth it to go for the attack there, obviously. Plus, we wanted to get the stadiums in the discard. Um, so the KO me, we stretch her the cast form back. We knock out the Zacian. And I mean, they can KO me with Cobalion. If there's any stadium in play, but that might not even work because if we're discarding stadiums with our attack, it might not work. So this might just be a quick run over here. I mean, I guess people like their Zacian. People like their grass decks and expanded. And if you just play this cast form deck, you get good type advantage. Plus, you're running against a fire deck. Um, yeah, we just go stretcher. Cast form. And it's like, what does my opponent do? You know? Hmm. Kind of hoping we get another cast form there. Grab fuel blower. I don't know. Yeah, I wanted to get another cast form down there. And then we could just go parallel city. Yep, do that. I guess we get a compressor away as supporter. Fine, there's no supporter to get rid of. We'll see if they KO me. They need a stadium to knock me out. We need to find another cast form and we're chilling. Obviously, we should find it. We just go Juniper and then we should get it. We'll see what they do here. I mean, if not, we can just go with the other cast form. Ooh, Kakui. That will let them KO me without the stadium, which is kind of hilarious. Um, well, it's game anyways, right? We could just actually Guzma the Lair on and KO it. Well, there you go. We just kind of ran them over, but because we were able to get eight stadiums in the discard on our first turn, it's like we were just super turbo, and we were just able to kind of just get there, right? During your next turn. Okay, good. There's no special cards we need. There we go. That's game versus a metal deck. So that was a pretty quick... Quick, quick match just we ran them over super quickly yeah we prized one of our sunny day cast worms that's why it was hard to find so two matches in a row where the type advantage was in our favor that's pretty good and we get some chilling rain packs to open up here let's go for it i'm still on the hunt for some shadow rider calyrex v maxes which i haven't pulled one in like honestly i haven't pulled one i don't even know if i pulled one maybe since the pack only video to be honest it has been that long since i pulled a shadow rider it's insane i have not pulled the alternate art shadow rider yet so here's to hoping we can pull that. Let's open up these five packs here. Cast form's gonna give us that good luck. You know, it's in the set, you know. It's gonna give us some good luck. For some reason, it froze. There we go. Cast form's gonna give us that good cast form luck. And we're gonna pull something here, right? Let's see what we get. Lucky energy. The Gallade. How many of these? We got eight reverse hollow lucky energies. All right, I got a lot of them. Let's see, so I do open up a lot of packs because it's addicting. It's not a good investment, but it is addicting. We get a Cobalion. Not that good. Okay. So again, we'll at least get a hit, right? I got five packs, but we got to get a hit, you know? Got to get a hit. Finally, we got some alternate art Shadow Riders, bro. Let's go. We got the alt art Shadow Rider. There we go. Just in time. Uh, bling. Let's go. That saves me... Probably like 15 packs, right? That's that's great. Let's go, finally, bro. You absolutely love to see it. We still got two packs left. Who knows? Maybe we'll get an alternate art ice rider or an alternate shadow rider or a normal shadow rider. No, we got another galley. You know what? These five packs were totally worth it because that alternate shadow rider was a great pull. Even if this pack is just Serena or some bad rare. Yeah. It was worth it though, bro. We got the alternate shadow rider V. Okay, this is literally the next game after the game I just got against Cezation there. And we're already up against another metal deck, possibly. So, I mean, you know what? I'll take it. And we actually got a pretty good start. We might have to, uh, depending on what we do, we might have to get rid of Juniper with Compressor here. But we'll see. We'll see what they're playing. Yep, it's some metal deck with Light Energy and Enhanced Hammer. But I'll take it. You know what? A, a good matchup is a good matchup. That's... Three games in a row where we've hit a matchup where the sunny cast form is actually just, like, insane. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, bro. People love their metal in Expanded. Not to mention ADP is still pretty popular in Expanded, too. So you already have that type advantage with cast form also against their Satians. Two extra cards is amazing. Woohoo. We got... All right, turn one cast form. I mean, mind you, we're not going first, but that's still, like, whatever. Still got the turn one. Luckily, we need Shrine. No, no Shrine. Presser again. Do this. We'll do this. And there we go. Just like that. Turn one cast form. The nice thing about it, too, is the opponent can't do anything about it. I'm gonna get another cast form. I'm actually just gonna hold the hand. They can't do anything about it. It's not like Mad Party or Night March where they could just go Karen or Oracorio. 
cast form there's no way to do anything about those stadiums i'm pretty sure like there's no way you can stop me from having my stadiums in my discard or get or punish me for having them like not even trash lanch would do anything in that scenario either because like garboder only works with items so it's like cast form's insane actually insane uh again not like they just grab one basic with fan club what the heck okay let's see if we can rip off this there we go beautiful now we can play this. We can actually just grab a... Uh, hmm. Oh, actually, we do need to take a stadium. We'll take the stadium. The, the odds we get another stadium off of this are pretty high anyways. Off this Juniper here, so... I got confidence it won't matter. I guess we could have Guzma the Bolt Hunt. No, we need a stadium to attack. We should find a stadium discard here. It's not that hard. Yeah, see? Simple. Uh, we'll grab Dedenne just in case. I'm not going to play it, though. I'm just going to retreat and attack. Actually, maybe I should have went Snowy Cast Form instead of just do this. But I do... Well, actually, no. If they get a Toxicity in play, we want to hit them as hard as we can. So we can two-shot them. I kind of wanted the Frozen City to stick and play, though. That would have been nice, but it's all good. No, they aren't even going to get Toxicity. It doesn't even matter. What is Kaelin with the Rainy Day Cast Form here? I'm going to hold the hand for a little while, too. Just chill out for a bit. All right, sure. And we just go into the cast form snowy form here. We just knock him out. Seems good. We can't one shot the bolt on though, so we still have the two shot it, but that's fine though. The price trade is gonna be really on our favor. There's no stadium, which is good. And, and all right, the stadium's good though, because we probably just go high pressure blast next turn on this bolt hunt. Oh no, they have a Jolteon. Uh oh, that's really bad. But we have Ranger, though. Never mind. I'm wrong. We have Ranger in the deck. Um, I am going to try to see if I can kill this turn, though. We need a Versus Seeker and a... No, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, we need a VF Seeker and a... Uh... We need a VF Seeker and a... Oh, well, there's that. We can KO it if we can find a Guzma. We also just have Ranger, right? We can just Ranger if they attack me with flash rates. Not really that big of a deal. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold the hand. They might they here's what they're probably gonna do. They're probably gonna go with the Jolteon right away. We'll play this compressor actually just in the deck out. Um get rid of it. Uh what do we even get rid of? Huh. Nothing to get rid of with compressor, actually, to be honest. Every card's actually pretty good. Um, I guess Ultra Ball? That was weird. Okay. I got I did that. And we're just going to attack him. Because they attack me, we'll just play the Ranger, right? Oh, so, whatever. Yeah, we'll just play the Ranger if they attack me. Ooh, oh, you know, I should have hit the Bolt Hunt, actually, for the 150 and switched the Parallel City around. I didn't realize. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. The damage isn't really that relevant. They're going to boss me. They're actually going to take out my Choice Banded Cast Form. Um, But they aren't going to go into the Jolteon for some reason. It could have went Jolty on there. I mean, backpack rangers should be fine, right? We could just go bench this, knock out. They go Jolty on. Uh, we still have Muscle Band in the deck, I'm pretty sure. So, well, we also, I think we have a Choice Band prize. Oh, via Seeker for, now yeah, we just go back to back ranger. Presser. We just ranger here. Yeah, that's fine. How many via Seekers do we have left? A few. Still need to make sure we find a stadium, though, to make this work. So far, I didn't look in that way. We have loose mean in the deck. Okay, let's do this. We'll fail this. Lodestone. Ranger. We'll play this just to get rid of... We'll get rid of two quick balls. What is the Dene here? We're going to try to see if we can rip a stadium off of this or a snowy cast form. All right, we got the stadium. We got the muscle band too, actually. So we just win the game. There we go. Pokemon Ranger for the win. That is why, people, you always put Ranger in your decks and expand it. Not only is it good against ADP, good against Jolteon and Glaceon, which you never know. They still might pop up here and there. They're not bad cards at all. They're definitely not bad cards. This next match, looks like my opponent will go first. Yeah, we always just want to go second here so we can get that turn one attack off. We do got a double stadium here, so we could potentially get the turn one attack. We'll see what they're playing, though. What's it going to be? Type advantage one time. Ooh, Eternatus VMAX. 
This is where we probably need Poe Town. Poe Town or Frozen City are going to be very important in this matchup. Unless they're playing a standard version of Eternus and they aren't playing an expanded deck. Judging from the Pokemon communication, there's a chance they might just be playing a standard Eternus VMAX deck and trying to see if it will win a game in expanded, which it probably could. The Eternus is just that overpowered of a card. Um, We just need to find Poketown or Frozen City to like... Well, no, Fro I, not even Poketown or Frozen City. Well, we need Mustbane then. That is tough, man. I'm not going to lie. Eternus is a little tough. They have way too much HP. 340 HP is a little insane. I'm not going to lie. It's a little insane. I'm actually really hard to take out. Yeah, it looks like they might be playing a standard version of the deck. Let's just playing Burbank City Slowbro or Slow King, whatever it's called. What do we draw? Quick Ball again. That's pretty good. So we'll grab NA. A quick Ball. Probably just for Guru. Just make sure we always get the monkey down. Well, it's a NA. You find Compressor and stuff. Okay, we got Juniper. That's good. We got, what, four stadiums now? No battle compressor off of that. That's kind of insane. We did get a trainer's mail, though, so we'll have to rely on that, I guess, to carry us here. Maybe should have gotten Snowy Cast form, to be honest. Compressor? There we go. Is that it? That should be it. Yeah, that's it. We need, I mean, we just need a stadium. Or we can just grab Snowy Cast form off of this. Um... Ooh, we actually don't have many themes in the deck. Yikes. Here's what we'll do. Ultra Ball. We'll have to go Snowy Cast Form. It doesn't do much damage, but it might have to just be a three-shot game anyways. Because we don't have a stadium here. Yeah. Oh, well, we drew one anyways. And it's the one I wanted, so. Just bench everything and just attack. Give the most fan for High Pressure Blast. and two-shot. All right, that's fine. Pretty good start. The Pro and City being in play is going to be really helpful. Hopefully, if they do attach, they take a little bit more damage. Um... There's the VMAX. That's why I wanted the Poe Town in play. Did we actually prize all of our Poe Towns? I think we did. Oh, they're going to Marnie me. That's fine. Yeah, we actually prized all of our Poe Towns. None are in the discard. I am, yeah, we did. Wow, that's insane. Poe Town being pretty good. This hand is a little sus. Guru is going to carry us, though. Don't worry. Guru is always going to carry us. How much HP do they have? 220? Yeah, it's going to be a two-shot game, unfortunately. Even if they attach here, they got a 200 HP. It must have only 170. It's not going to work. And the more damage they take, the better. Uh, we just we haven't played Guzma yet. We time our Guzmas, we should be okay, right? We can just time our Guzmas, we should be fine. Um, I don't think there's anything we can take out with high pressure blast, right? Crobat would survive with 10 HP even with a muscle band. They were. I really hope they make a shine of punishment that works for uh, uh V Max Pokemon. That'd be a really good stadium to have back in the format. Is shine of punishment, but working on all rule box Pokemon. That would be a great card to have in the format, to be honest. All right, we're just going to keep going, obviously, cast form. There's Guzma. So we can chase the Eternus next turn. Well, they attach to the bench, Eternus VMAX. We'll just knock this thing out. Again, it's just going to be a game of just two shots. It's going to be two shots. We could have played Mail, I guess. We probably should have, but we can wait an extra turn. Yeah, there's that 20 damage they take. And they attach one more energy with Frozen City and play... Hmm. So we can find Stretcher. I want to keep the Frozen City in play because I want this thing to take 20 more damage. So it'll go into 300 HP. Let me just take a set without finding Muscle Band. That could be pretty big, actually. Have we played Stretcher? No, we haven't. Yeah, if we can find Stretcher here, that'd be really good. Kind of wish I played a Chorus in the deck because look at how good Chorus is. But I don't play Chorus because we don't really play that many basics to begin with. Like, I don't think we get much value to Chorus. But it, look at Chorus in this scenario, bro, would be absolutely gas. Let's try to find Stretcher. Uh... Ball. We'll get rid of this. Field blower is pretty useless. Richard's in there. We have three VS Seekers, too. Okay, so we have to try to rip a VS Seeker. There we go. Oh, we got Treacher, though. Tough decision, bro. We're getting three prizes. We did prize quite a bit of supporter. Yeah, we'll just take the Treacher. We should get selling on the prizes. We still, have, we still have Guru. I'm not. I ain't scared, bro. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Yeah, this is fine. Of Guru. Plus, we're going to get three prizes. I'm pretty confident. There we go. Look at that, bro. Paid off. Never punished. Never freaking punished. Let's take out this Eternus VMAX. And we just got to knock this out. And the Frozen City sticks, meaning if they don't bump the stadium, they'll take 20 more damage here. Another Frozen City. Poe Town. 
Bowser Machine is beautiful too. Perfect. Bowser Machine is actually really good if we want to get like teammates. Okay. So as long as the Frozen City sticks, they take 20 more damage. We don't need the we don't need the Muscle Man to KO them, which is the important thing. I do think we can win the game though by just going attacking three times. I think we do have enough time to do that. But again, I want the Frozen City to stick so Sing will take that extra damage. But we'll see. There's a switch. No Dark City. Do they have an energy? I really want them to attach. They're gonna boss. Kill my Dedene. Okay. Okay, now we actually do need them. We do need to find the Muscle Band, or we do need them to take the Pro City damage. Because they do just kill my Dedene. Oh, they're gonna switch back in a slow bro. Oh, does that mean they actually Oh, they don't have the Dark City? Perfect. This is a free turn two to just gust them. And we'll just smack them with this cast form and keep that frozen city in play. We're just gonna whack them here for 120 damage. Just put a bunch of pressure on them. Perfect. That played out perfect. Or should we have went? We should have went high pressure blast, actually, because then we could have just knocked them out if they went frozen city. It does I don't think it matters. The fact they like they don't they don't even kill my Dedene again, right? They didn't live. Yeah, I think we're fine. I don't think we're gonna get punished for that. I, that is kind of close. I definitely okay. Yeah, I definitely should have just went for that play. They found another switch. My opponent is finding all of their switches all at once. Not good. But will they find the next step they need? They need Dark City. I should have went High Pressure Blast. Yeah, I do regret that now. Actually, it wouldn't have mattered. No. Well, then we could win Muscle Bane. Yeah, I should have went High Pressure Blast. That was definitely a misplay. Okay, they did get a. They got a research. Will they find a? Dark City, though. The Slowbro might get stuck. Nice. Frozen City does its job. Do they have the Dark City? They do. Wait, why would they not do Dark City before they attached? <laughs> what? Yeah, I just realized. My opponent should have just went Dark City first. They don't even attack me. Okay. That's fine. Does this work with any stadium? Discard a stadium. So you don't have that of your own. Okay, cool. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they? I'm so confused right now. That was that my did my my opponent just like made some weird misplays. I'll just do this just thin up the deck even more. Because where of these last compressors, Ranger can go to. And then we'll just hit him. That was very weird on my opponent's end. I don't know what just happened. They attached when the Pro City was in play, when they could have played Dark City, and they also didn't even retreat. I mean my opponent just gave up. I think they just gave up. I mean, we're probably gonna win this unless they have like a Cheryl in the deck or something. But even then, like, they're not gonna attack me anyways. They play the Cheryl. We I'm pretty sure we got them. There's a boss's order, probably on my Dedene. Yeah, that's just game. Yeah, GG's. GG's to the Eternus deck. That's cool. That was a very weird game, though, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if my opponent just gave up or they just didn't realize Dark City worked. I don't know. Anyways, bro, just knock him out. Frost Typhoon. See you later, Eternus VMAX. Who cares? You might have 340 HP. You might do 270 damage for two energy. You just, you can't stand up to the cast forms, bro. You just, you can't beat the weather, bro. At the end of the day, you can't beat the weather. All right, it looks like we're up against ADP. They got the Arceus coin. They got the uh, metal deck box. And that is the nice thing about playing this is, I mean, there's enough types in Expanded where you actually get some pretty good matchups overall, I would say. Ooh, this is a bit of a weird Juniper. We have to lose our Stretcher. I'm like, we have Down's Machine, though. Rachi start. What if they put a stadium in play for me? That is one thing that has not happened yet. My opponent has not gave us stadium. Because we might have to find nine stadiums here if we want to pull off uh, Steelix. That's a Cody Metal Energy, right? Bro, what the heck am I playing against? They're playing Mega Steelix. Well, we have Fab on the deck, so... Yeah, I guess. Kind of confused right now. Might as well play Shrine. Get some free damage. Because we might not even attack him this turn, but I might as well, because we can also hit the Drachi. We'll grab this, obviously, so we can attack this if worse comes to worse. Oh, Juniper. Let's see if we can get the attack off here. No, no compressor, so we can just grab Dene. Losing both our float stones is pretty bad. Let's see if we can get a quick ball, if not compressor. Nope. Rip. Rome City, though. Free stadium discard. Here we go. Will we get the attack off? We have... Or in the discard. Okay, we got Compressor. Get rid of these. Trying to punch me and Potown are both good. I think we're one off, right? Six, seven. Yeah, yeah. So we just quick ball here and we got it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I should have grabbed Lele. We have Ultra Ball, though. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Turn one attack. You'd love to see it. Now, the uh, Cody Metal sucks, but I mean, we're going to two shot them anyway. It's not really that big of a deal. Plus, maybe we Shrine can make it a one shot if we get lucky. Um, There's Choice Band, which is nice. Nice, nice. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, the Steelix, if they don't evolve into Mega Steelix, they're still going to get KO'd. 
by the cast form because you're in range of getting one shot. But yeah, turn one attack there, pretty consistent. Take out the Jirachi. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens next. Will my opponent be able to stop me? I mean, they can't even attack me, right? Steelix needs four energy for Wild Edge. Yeah, there's no way they're attacking me this turn, right? I'm pretty sure they don't have me. We'll see, though. I guess the one benefit of playing Mega Steelix is it is a metal and fighting type, and fighting's pretty good and expanded against Dark and Lightning. And metal's not bad either. I mean, Ice Rider Calyrex is actually doing pretty well in the online expanded tournament scene because it's pretty good with Aqua Patch and stuff. So, I don't know, maybe Mega Steelix. I don't know. There's probably just better Steel types, but I don't know. Oh, there they go. They go straight into the Mega, but they still take some Shine damage. What am I going with another Frosty Typhoon? There's... Well, we just draw the Lele, actually. You just love to see it. No, no, we just win, right? They're weak to fire? Yeah. Is Faba in the deck? Faba's in there. That's why you play the Faba. Yeah, we just Faba the Cody Metal Energy off next game. Beautiful. Look at that. Woo! Let's go! Dubs for days! Well, I mean, 50 coins. We're almost on the versus rewards. Wow, that was quick. All right, well, let's just... We'll do probably one more game. What, the fifth game? Okay, we're up against the Lightning deck. This could be Pikaram. And again, we don't play Mr. Mime or anything in the deck. Um, or Mew. So this could be a little sketchy. But we could do Parallel City and, like, discard our Pokemon tactically. All right, we got a pretty solid start. Honestly, Shrine of Punishman might be good against Pikachu and Zekrom. I'm thinking about it. If it is Pikaram, I might actually put Shrine in play. Because it could be good against, like, Zeraora and, like, Pika and stuff. Let's see what they're playing. Never mind. Poco with a Magnezone. I have no idea. Our hand is very good, though. We should have the turn one if we get... If, as long as we draw properly, we should have it. Nice. What do we draw? Quick ball's good. So we'll pl play the compressor first. We'll get rid of... Three parallels. Ultra ball. Wait, the shrines. And we just need one compressor here. That's good. We'll grab Guru. We'll grab Guru. We can ultra ball. The Dene. We don't have Layla in the deck, so we have the Compressor be a secret way. We'll see. Quick Ball, do this. Grab a Cast Form. Okay. Here we go to Dene. We just need a Compressor. We have we go, a lot of outs. There we go. We got him. We got him. Nice. Turn one attack. Love to see it. Yeah, you love to see it. We can put a Frozen City in play, too. Frost food. Actually, I should have put Potown in play because if they evolve, yeah, I should just play Potown instead of Frozen City. Because they, cause they evolve into V Max here, they'll take more damage. But they might not evolve into V Max. I don't know. Probably should have just been Potown because that was like the one chance we get to use it. Ooh, Electro Power. Maybe it does pay off because they might. Fuck it, they might birdie me anyways. Alright, whatever. We are kind of dead drawing, but again, thanks to Guru, it's not a big deal. We can play our hand down here and draw some cards with Instruct. Uh, plus, we're probably going to get two prizes. Yeah, there's the Pikachu and Zekrom. That's so why I want the Shrine in play to tick away at it. I am a little worried about Tag Bolt, but if we can Parallel City away our Dedenne, maybe just keep ourselves a little bit safer. They don't even KO me, so Cast Form lives to see another day. Cast Form, Trap Tech? Oh, no, oh, no, our other Cast Form surprise. I think we just... I'm just going to knock him out, yeah. I'm going to hold the hand and knock him out. Keep the Stadium. So I want to go Shrine next turn. Here we draw. Ranger... Cast form? Be a Seeker? Uh, we can be a Seeker for Guzma, which I might do on the Pikachu and Zekrom. I wanted to get damage on this before it gets off a Tag Bolt. So I think I will hit the Pikarom here if I can. Yeah, I'll hit the Pikarom. I might even... Uh, we could also Faba, but they don't play Speed Air. Yeah, we'll just hit the Pikarom. Oh, they could... Oh, we could knock out the Magnemite, actually. That's probably just better, actually. Kill the Magnemite. Can you kill the Magneton? So they don't get off a Magnezone. They could just go Magnezone and put six Lightning on. Yeah, we might as well just kill the Magneton. Sure, because then we just KO Pikaram to win the game. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Um, we can put Potown. We'll do the Shine. We don't... Well, the Dene will go in full Blitz range, but at, at, at that point, it really doesn't matter if that happens or not. Let's take out their Magneton here. Seems Gucci. We get some Shine ticks on the Pikaram, put it down a little bit lower. Might help us, might not. We got our prize. We get the Trainer's Mail. That could help us find... I don't even know what it would help us. I don't even know what we really need. Yeah, we just gotta kill Pika to win the game. Well, that can get us via Seeker. We've only played one. Yeah. Or Dow's Machine even, so this should be okay. 
Oh, they got another counter stadium. That's fine. Pika Rom gets to take another doesn't get to take more damage. Not that it matters though. They haven't even taken a prize yet. We already have to just take out one more Pika to win. So that's just straightforward. But I guess we'll just dig here for the BS Seeker if we can find it. Seems good to me. Promote the cast form with this damage, because we'll attack with a fresh cast form. We just flat out draw it. I mean, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. We'll get rid of Ranger in before they play Jolteon, but they still have the power it up. It's not even a big deal. So we'll just via Seeker for Guzma. I don't even feel bad for my opponent, bro, because you just love pooping on tag team Pokemon with 70 HP cast forms. You just love to see it. The weather, bro. I'm telling you, you can't beat the weather. Don't try to beat the weather. You can't beat the weather. You just can't beat the weather. We'll win next turn, right? Um, they could end me, and then we have Guru. We just got our line mail to find us a Via Seeker Magi's machine, and we have game. I mean, even if not, we can just Juniper and get out Via Seeker for the next turn to win anyway. So it's like, we're pretty much checkmating them, I feel like. It's not really going to matter anymore. There's more Peko. It's already got 300 HP, so the Po Town wouldn't have been that relevant anyways. That should be GG. So I guess they could still Magnezone me, and they get Magneton. Mag they could go Magnemite here, get Magnezone, get 600 energy on a Pika Rom. That's so unlikely, though. They would need... They need what? That's like... That's like 11 cards they would need to pull off a Pika Rom tag bolt attack. That's so unlikely. It's just not going to happen. That won't even win them the game. So... Oh, Guru. So if Mail just draws us a Via Seeker or Dow's Machine, we have game. We also have Instruct to work with. No, okay. A Compressor. Do this. Get rid of N. Don't need any more. Get rid of a quick ball too, I think. Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. Via Seeker or Dazzle Machine. Oh, wait, that's, I didn't even know if Dazzle Machine in the deck. Via Seeker. We got Lusamine. We just have the Juniper. We could Lusamine for the Via or the Guzma, but I am just gonna do because we need another cast form down. Yeah. Simple. We just attack him with the one with the choice band. Alright, we should have it next turn. They can get evolve. They can get evolve into the V Max, I guess. And we can't one-shot them, but we should still find Guzma next turn. We'll see what happens. I think we're still winning this. It's very unlikely we lose at this point. All right, let's see if they actually have a Rare Candy Magnezone in their hand. Rare Candy Magnezone with Six Lightning would be weird, because they can... I guess at that point they would go down to one prize, but then we just kill the Pika with the other cast form. I mean, they would need so much here to really stop me. Like, they would need... They, I'm thinking, like, they need probably, like, 11 plus cards to stop me, which, like, is so unlikely. Um, when we put the Magnezone back, you're gonna get Magneton. How many VSCs have we played? Two? We'll see if we can find it. We also kill their Coco and then VSC or the Magnus Magnemite at some point also. So many options. So many options. They could also go to the VMAX. And we could rip a Muscle Band. Oh, they go into Marpeko. So they don't get knocked out. Oh, they actually had it! Okay, they had the Rare Candy Magnezone. But I guess they're gonna hit me with the more Peko here. If they have, do they have three energy in their hand? They haven't played a supporter yet. No, they don't. They attach a Pika. They're actually gonna let me get a free hit here. I also see if we can rip this. There we go. There we go. We got him. We got him. GGs. There we go. Then via Seeker, grab the Guzma, and we win the game. We got the Pika wrong with Cast Form Sunny Day. Boom, Sunny Farm Cast Form. It takes out Pika. And that'll be it for the video, guys. I think on the Cast Form deck with those matches. I think that was, I did six games in total. But this deck is kind of cool. It, it's similar to like how the Mad Party and I March plays where you pop off really quickly if you're able to set up very fast, which we were able to do. And yeah, I think Cast Form has a lot of potential as a pretty fun rogue deck. It's very similar to Rotom, but it might be better than Rotom because stadiums are pretty nice to have in the discard compared to things. Because again, there's nothing that can really stop you. So I don't know. The deck felt a lot of fun, though. The only problem is you just can't play Marshadow or Mew in the deck for that extra type coverage, but I feel like the deck is fun. Honestly, having a Fire Attacker could just be really good against Zacian. A lot of people still play ADP and even Zacian in Expanded, plus Aggro, so you get pretty good type advantage in general. So I still think Cast Form, yeah, the, the, the Fire Cast Form alone can carry you, but there's still a lot of people playing Fire and Expanded, too, like Rushy's Art and Welder stuff, so even Snowy Form is pretty good. But yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed today's PDC Joe Expanded video, slap a like on the video. Let's see if we can reach 200 likes. And also, check out Karkava down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Help me the road reaching 18,000 subs. Uh, we are very close. We are less than 400 subscribers away. So make sure to sub if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter down below. Check out my Twitch. I do stream a lot more. I'm trying to get partnered on Twitch. So if you guys want to follow my Twitch down below, it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.